There's a third on the way. We've got meteorologist Steve Bender uh, joining us now with a look even farther down the road. Steve, early and often in 2024, right? Yeah, we're making up for 2023. Ian, uh, we're getting them all at once, cramming them in. If two wasn't enough, let's get a third one in and then a fourth one. And these are going to have a little bit of change, a little nuance with this. So here's that early week storm. And notice the trajectory, the movement overall is guided by the jet stream. Looks very similar, but you'll see how it's really the central plains cashing in on the snow. That's a spot that's actually in the country above average with the snow. And notice as that third storm moves through, it's almost a hybrid between what we see with the first and the second, right? The first is that nor'easter gets out over the water. The second goes over the Great Lakes. This one goes right over the northeast, providing some snow into the New England region. Now, another aspect of this that changes for the third and fourth storm is we allow some of that cold Canadian air and some Arctic air to spill in, and that comes all the way down and sets the table for a lot of those areas in the south to maybe get some snow or some bitter cold temperatures. We're talking 30 degrees below average bitter cold for this time of year. So when we look at the next 10 days, talk about cashing in. This is beautiful, Ian. I know you are big into skiing and snowboarding. Look at the West cashing in as they get into the very heavy snow totals. Yeah, a little thin, a little thin through the early part of the season. We're making up for lost time. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.